Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Mummy's Wish. Today, we are going to learn about the second part of our lesson called Fiber and Fabric. Friends, during the end of the video, if you like the video, don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe. Okay friends, now let's get into the lesson. Friends, today we are going to learn about what is silk. Silk is a nat natural fiber which is obtained from an insect called silk moth. So, silk fiber are also animal fibers. Silkworms spin the silk fibers. The silk fiber is made up of a protein. Silk is the strongest natural fiber. Sericulture. Sericulture means silk farming. The reading of silkworms for obtaining silk is called sericulture. It's a very old occupational in India. India produces a lot of silk on a comerical scale. Before we discuss the process of obtaining silk, it is necessary to know the interesting life story of the silk moth. Life history of silk moth. Formation of silk worm. The female silk moth lays eggs on mulberry leaves. The eggs are hatched in very small larva within a week. Within a week, the larva of silk moth are called caterpillar or silkworm. The silkworm feed on the leaves of mulberry tree and grow bigger in size. Development of cocoon. When the silkworm or caterpillar is ready to enter the next stage of its development called pupa, it first weaves a net to hold itself. Then it swings its head, swings its head from side to side. During these movements of head, the silkworm secrets fiber made of protein, which hardens on exposure to air and becomes silk fiber or silk thread. Soon, the silkworm or caterpillar covers itself by silk fibers and turns into pupa. This covering is known as silk cocoon. The silkworm continues to develop in the form of pupa inside the cocoon to form the silk moth. What is the production of silk? In order to produce silk, the silkworm developing inside the cocoon as pupa is not allowed to mature into an adult silk moth. So as soon as the cocoon is formed, it is used to obtain silk fiber, fibers and the developing silkworm as pupa. The killed some of the silkworm as pupae or however allowed to leave a mature into silk moths so that they can lay eggs to produce more silkworms. There is a variety of silk moths which look very different from one another and the silk yarn the yield is different in texture course smooth, shiny and etc. Thus, Tessar silk or sack silk, Moga silk and etc. are different types of moths. The most common silk moth is mulberry silk moth. The silk obtained from the cocoons of mulberry silk moth is called mulberry silk. Mulberry silk is soft, lustrous, shiny and elastic and can be dyed in beautiful colors. Pure and artificial silk. Pure silk is obtained from the cocoons of silkworm and it is made up of a protein. Artificial silk is obtained from wood pulp and it is made up of modified plant. 
metal cellulose just like silk wool is also made up of proteins such a piece of woolen fabric also burns giving the smell of burning hair the thread which burns give a smell of burning paper will be cotton fibers cotton and paper both are carbohydrates paper is made up of cellulose obtained from wood pulp so on burning cotton and paper both give similar smell from cocoon to silk for obtaining silk silk moths are reed and their cocoons are collected to get silk thread that means the process goes like silk moth to reading silk worms processing silk and reeling silk rearing silk worms female silk moths lays hundred of eggs at a time the eggs are stored carefully on stripes of paper or cloth and sold to silk worm farmers the farmers keeps eggs under hygienic conditions they warm them to a suitable temperature of the larvae to hatch from egg the larvae are kept in clean bamboo trays along with young and freshly chopped mulberry leaves after 25 to 30 days the silk worm stopped eating and started spinning the cocoons small racks of twigs may be provided in the trays to which cocoons get attached processing silk the cocoons are collected and boiled in water to kill the insect inside them the resulting fiber is known as raw silk the silk fibers separate out rearing the silk the process of talking are fibers from the cocoon for use as silk is known as reeling the silk reeling is done in special machines silk fibers are spun into silk threads which are woven into silk cloth by weavers discovery of silk the discovery of silk was made in china a long time back according to an old chinese legend the empress sing tong chi was asked by the emperor hong ti to find the cause of their damaged leaf of mulberry trees growing in their garden the empress found white worms eating up mulberry leaves so she also noticed that they were spinning shiny cocoons around them accidentally a cocoon dropped into her cup of tea a tangle of delicate threads separated the cocoon silk industry began in china was kept a closely guarded secret for hundred of years later on traders and travelers introduced silk to other countries the route they traveled is also known is also is still called the silk route even today china leads the world in silk production india is also among the leading silk production countries of the world in india a large number of women are engaged in various activities related to the silk product such as the weaving of silk worms weaving of silk from cocoons and processing of raw silk into fabrics thank you friends that's all for now and after this part 2 of our lesson called fiber and fabric we finished studying a lesson of fiber and fabric thank you friends let's meet in the next video bye